welcome to another Lawn Farm video. Today we are so excited to be introducing you new paper and new card stocks and we're going to start off with the brand new Flower Market Collection. This collection is so cute with the most beautiful springy colors and we have it in both the 12x12 size and the 6x6 size. First we're going to take a look at the 12 by 12 size and you can get that in this collection pack. In the collection pack you get two of each paper for a total of 12 papers. You can also buy the papers individually in a pack of 12. So 12 of just the one in pink or just the one in green. And this is really great if you're doing a lot of mass production or something like an invitation where you need a lot of one color. Now we'll take a look at each paper individually and first up we have the sweet pea paper and it has this beautiful floral design on the front and on the back it has this gorgeous stripe which I just love. Next up we have buttercup which is our yellow and you'll notice that the floral pattern is a little bit different. There are three different patterns of floral that each repeat once in this collection so you'll see that and of course we have that gorgeous stripe on the back. This is gladiolus which is like a perfect green. I love using this for grass on my scenes because it looks like there's little flowers in the grass and of course this stripe is so beautiful. Next up we have delphinium and I just love those little daisies on the front and on the back again of course we have that multicolored stripe that's different shades of each of the colors in the collection whether it's yellow, blue, etc. Here we have lupin, this beautiful purple and then of course on the back we have those gorgeous stripes. And then last but not least we have brunia which is this beautiful gray color and I absolutely adore how this one looks. It makes for a really gorgeous neutral background especially these stripes on the back. They're just perfect for something like that. And here is a look at all of the papers in a row so you can see those beautiful florals and then the stripes. They're so much fun to combine together the stripes and the florals. These colors also really go well with previous collections that we always keep around like watercolor wishes and spiffy speckles. It also looks really great with our brand new gotta have gingham rainbow papers as well. Now it's time to take a look at the 6x6 pad and in the 6x6 pad you get three of each design for a total of 36 sheets which is awesome because you'll have plenty of each one so you don't necessarily have to hoard all the papers. I know I'm a paper hoarder myself and you'll see that all of the designs are about 50% reduced from the designs in the 12x12 paper and one thing that I love to do is mix and match these together depending on my project. So sometimes I might want really skinny stripes but with bigger florals. Um, I also love using the 12x12 pads for more like three dimensional items. Items, and then I like using the 6x6 six six pads on my cards. And then here you can see how the pattern repeats so you end up getting three of each design which is so awesome. And then here is a comparison between the 6x6 six six and the 12x12 12 12, and I love seeing the difference in scale and once again it's kind of like whatever project you're doing you may need bigger flowers or smaller flowers or bigger stripes or smaller stripes so it's fun to be able to pick from both of them. Next up we're going to take a look at our brand new textured canvas cardstock. We have eight packs of these and it's the most beautiful rainbow color palette. We'll be showing you all the different colors in each pack soon. It's got this really great canvas texture. It's 80 pound cardstock and I absolutely love it. So let's check it out. First up we're going to take a look at the canvas texture and isn't that just gorgeous? I love the texture to it. It just adds a little extra something to your project that just makes it special but it's just a little bit different. And then on the back of this cardstock it is a little bit more smooth. So I love that you could use either side. Now we're going to take a look at all of the colors in each pack and this is the pink pack and each pack has five different colors with two sheets of each for a total of 10 sheets. And so here you can see the beautiful gradient of colors in the pink pack. Next up we have our red and orange pack and just like the pink pack we have two of each of the card stocks for a total of 10 sheets and there are eight different colors. And here is a comparison between the five colors in this pack. Next up we have our yellow pack and I love these gradient packs not only because just gradient color makes me happy but it's really great for doing different die cutting because you have lots of shades of one type of color so you can just go to one pack and get like this a bunch of shades of green which would be really pretty with our brand new plant succulent dyes because you would have all these different greens available to you in one pack. And so here's a look at the green colors all together. Next up we have our aqua pack and so here beautiful colors. I love that there's kind of more like a gray sagey kind of color and then more of an aqua y kind of color. Then next up we have our teal pack and these colors are just as gorgeous. They're just so pretty more towards the blue end but with a little bit of green in them. And here you'll see the comparison between those. Then we have a blue pack and I love that we have so many different versions of blue, aqua and teal because those are my favorite colors to use on cards. And so here you can see these are much more of a true blue color down to that gorgeous navy. 
And then last but not least, we have our purple pack. And I love that there's more beautiful kind of light shades of lilac and then some darker, more eggplant shades of purple. This pack is one of my favorites. I think it's just so gorgeous all together. And now, of course, we had to show you the entire rainbow of the textured canvas card stocks. And look how gorgeous this is. It's this beautiful gradient. I love that it pretty much has almost every color that you could ever need for layering onto cards or layering tiny little die cut pieces so that you could have the perfect shade for your card. And then we also have some brand new 100 pound cardstock, and this is our barn red color. And this is perfect, of course, with our brand new build a barn die. It's this really pretty, bright kind of barn red, and it's a really nice complement to our previous chili pepper cardstock. So now we have two different shades of red. I'm really excited to use this one for the holidays once we get back to making Christmas cards again. Next up, we have some gorgeous cards by the design team. And first up, this card by Audrey is just beautiful. I love how she used all of the different stripes from the six by six pad to create a beautiful background for her Easter card. This card here by Elena is just beautiful. And I also love the way she stacked the stripes and the florals on this fun extra special card. This card by Elise is so sweet. And that green stripe is the perfect backdrop for her strawberries. And these cards are perfect on the brand new platform pop-up too. And this pop-up by Elena is just so sweet with the Berry Rainy Day Bears. Here Melissa shows us that our flower market papers are perfect for layouts. How cute is this with those strawberry die cuts and those adorable pictures and Henry's ABCs. I just love this layout so much. Here, Tammy used the beautiful flower market papers on her platform pop-up as well, and it makes the perfect grass on these platform pop-ups. And then here, Tammy shows us that those stripes are a perfect base for cute scenes, especially with the Berry Rainy Day Bears. And then Melissa made another stunning layout, and she featured different papers in those cool little cutouts, and I just love how it looks. Lynette always does such a beautiful job of layering pattern papers and this card with the brand new Magic Iris Floral Reef add-on is so beautiful. This pop-up here is just stunning by Grace and I love that she used the stripes for the bottom and then filled them with our brand new clover dies. And then this card by Shari is so sweet and that floral buttercup paper made the perfect background for her strawberries. Here in this card, we show that the Gotta Have Gingham and the Floral Market are a perfect mix and match together. Oh my goodness, I just love how this looks. Here, Audrey created a beautiful grassy scene using the Flower Market papers for her tiny farm card, and I just love this card so much. So we cannot wait to see what you guys create with this new paper collection and new card stock, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!